Good morning, everyone, uh, and good afternoon to those uh, who are in Australia and New Zealand. I'm Cass, the Marketing Manager for ePlan Southeast Asia, Australia and New Zealand. We would like to thank you for your time today to join us in ePlan Pro Panel webinar. Today, we are going to introduce to you uh, the ePlan Pro Panel. ePlan Pro Panel is a CAE solution for 3D engineering of control cabinets and switchgear systems. And joining us today, we have uh, myself and Kelsen Chan. He is the technical consultant for EPN Southeast Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. And before we start, uh, appreciate if you could connect to the event audio so they can hear me. And if you can hear me now, there is no re action required. Uh, this is for those who have not connected to event audio yet. And if you have any further questions along the session, please feel free to input your question in the Q&A section in, the, in, the, in this WebEx. And without further ado, I'd like to start the session now. So um, ePlan um, is part of a successful international group which covers perfectly coordinated products, engineering tools, and services. And it's for all sectors of industry and serving the international markets of today and tomorrow. So the Freeham Low, Freeham Low Group consists of Retail. Retail is one of the world leading system supplier for enclosures power distributions, climate control, IT infra, and software and services as well. And for Starlo, um, uh, it provides the steel solution customized for clients' projects. LKH is, uh, is a manufacturer for high-quality product, uh, high-quality plastic component. Um, next would be ePlan. We develop CAE solutions and advise companies in the optimization of engineering processes. Low services, uh, which is a company services for Freedom Low Group, from controlling to IT. Um, CDON is uh, experts in CAP, SAP interface development, developed the best in class SAP PLM direct integration for various CAT systems including ePlan. So um, ePlan today, we are a German-based company founded in 1984. Our HQ is in Mannheim, Germany, and we are the top employer since 2009. So um, together with uh, Freedom Low Group, uh, which is an older managed group, we have more than 11,500 employees worldwide. And international presence, uh, we are present in more than 50 countries, and our solution is available in 17 languages, and also in support of global standards. So uh, to date, we have about 45,000 customers and 120,000 installation. This is dated uh, February last year. Um, so this is our footprint. The those countries in red are the ones that we present in. So it's about more than fifty countries. And um so in Southeast Asia, Australia and New Zealand, the headquarters is in uh, Malaysia. And then mm, this is the industry that we are present in. So we offer solutions that is uh, carefully matched with industry-specific uh, requirements. So this is based on our extensive knowledge from over 30 years of successful collaboration with companies from all dimensions. So we have like automotive, food and beverage, pedal building, steel and metals, oil and gas, and so on. Um, so next, I would pass the floor to Kelsen. He will be talking a little bit more on the uh, ePrint platform and our products and services. And he will also present on ePrint Pro Panel presentation and demo as well. So 
So I will pass the floor to Kelsen Chair. Okay, so this is our, uh, the e-plan uh, software product. Okay, so of course, uh, just a simple introduction on the e-plan product. So the first one will be the e-plan electric PA. Okay, so this is uh, the module that I used to design the electrical uh, stability diagram. Okay, and then the next one will be e-plan fluid. Okay, so fluid will be, be the one that uh, used to design the pneumatic and hydraulic product uh, schematic diagram. So e-plan pre-planning, uh, which you can use to pre-planning the, the engineering in your company. Okay, so that means you can get a get a project and then you can import the sensors, the IO motor uh, to this pre-planning. Okay, to get the quotations or the uh, for the materials. Okay, and you, so, you also can use the pre-planning to actually design the PNID diagram uh, for the process and instrumentation. Okay, and then the next one will be the e-plan pro panel. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to uh, share to you later on. Okay, so pro panel is the one that used to design the control panels in 3D. Okay, so you can you can have a 3D look and then you can actually auto routing the wire. Okay, and the next one will be the harness pro D. So so this is for the harnessing uh, in one uh, let's say the automation of the wiring in the automobile. Okay, and then of course we have the all these five products actually can interface with our with the MCAT and PDM system. So this is how it looks like in the event electric field. Okay, so this is an example. Okay, you can actually design a schematic diagram. Okay, for it. Okay, so this is for the pneumatic. So pre planning for the PNID diagram. Okay, and pro panels is for the 3D. Okay, and then the last one will be for the harness product. Okay, so today uh, we will talk about the. Uh, Pro panels uh, product in the 3D. Okay, so this, which you can apply to this, uh, let's say if you design the control cabinet and the switch gear as well. Okay, so you can use the pro panels for for the different uh, industrial. Okay, so let's say if you if you are in the automotive areas, mechanical engineering, okay, IT, and and so on. Okay. Okay. So this is normally the conventional way, okay? Say so normally the control cabinet you use to protect any sensitive equipment okay, against the environment. And on the left hand side, this is the conventional way, okay? You can see the cables, all the wires all just hanging around. Okay, and from the right hand side over here, okay, so you will have more organized uh, control panels with the component uh, proper arrangement. Okay, so that it's more easy for you to do the testing. Uh, troubleshooting in case you have any error. Okay, so this is our e-plan uh, pro panels product. Okay, so you we have a uh, you can say three different products. Okay, so we we can have the basic uh, modules over here. This is just e-plan pro panels. Okay, so for the e-plan pro panels, you can just uh, uh, do the normal design 3D mounting layout. Okay, this means you can arrange. The component inside the control panels, okay, using the pro panel in 3D, okay, and for the next one, for the next level will be the e-plan pro panel professional. Okay. For the professional side, you can actually uh, auto routing the cables inside the uh, control panels, okay. So you will have a virtual wiring in the 3D, and you can even export uh, all the NC data to the to any uh, to the CNC machine. And of course, uh, we have another add-on is e-plan pro panel professional copper. Okay. This means you can design the copper bars uh, in our pro panel as well. Okay. And of course, you can uh, just export all the NC data to the CNC machine. Okay, so this is the product. Okay. So of course, uh, for the e-plan pro panel in 3D, after you design in 3D, you can even uh, just export to the 2D drawing as well. So the 2D will be used for the production side. Okay, so this is the E-Plan uh, Pro Panel Copper. Okay. And of course, you can see over here, you can export, after you design a copper bus, you can export the data to uh, any machine that actually, uh, some of the machine which you can actually accept the DXF format. 
or the CNC machine, okay, which you, they will actually accept the NC data to you. Okay, so now pro panels also can interface uh, with the e plans with for the pneumatic and hydraulic. Okay, so that's mean for for those who design the pneumatic and hydraulic schematic. So you can even design your your fluid. Uh, control control box using our e plan pro banner. Okay, and the the tubing inside this box will be auto automatic routing as well, according to the schematic uh the fluid schematic. Okay, so this is our e plan pro banner in the menu. Okay, so basically they can accept the data. Okay, they can transfer the data from e plan PA fluid. Okay, to the pro banner. Okay, and you can get some of the part numbers in the ePlan data portal, okay. So which is the uh, the symbol library online from the uh, from this ePlan data portal, okay. And after you uh, you design complete this three uh, D panels over here, okay. So these are the things that you can do. You can export, uh, you can export and put into the manufacturing integration, okay. Okay. For example, you need a bill of material. You need the assembly drawings, and these are some of the machines, mechanical processing to the CNC machine, and of course uh, for the cables as well. You can export the auto wiring cables to the Comex machine. Okay. Of course, the uh, ePlan Pro panels also you can actually get these three uh, D data from the ePlan data portal. Yeah, data portal from the supplier and manufacturing online. Okay, so these are the examples uh, suppliers inside our ePlan data portal. Okay, so the benefit of using the data portals is so basically you save your time to create the part number. Okay, and all the information uh, let's for example, the technical characteristic, the dimension of this part number is all available for the manufacturer. And starting from okay, so this will be the uh, the new in version two point six. Okay, so starting from version two point six, we have another new module, add-on module to the pro panel. It's called ePlan Smart Wiring. Okay, so basically, this uh, ePlan Smart Wiring you can run using the PC or or tablet that using the Windows. Okay, so basically, after you complete the pro panels uh, 3D and you run the cables inside the panel, okay, you can basically uh, transfer this data to this event smart wiring, okay, and the production or the looping members they can referring to these uh, these uh, event smart wiring to actually uh, lay out the cables inside the panel, okay. And later on, I will show you show you a demo on how to do it. So we will try to read from uh, from the digital data for the manufacturing side as well. Okay, so these are examples how how it can be done. If starter is done, then you can just click on this dotted red color. That means you complete this wiring over here. Okay, I'll show you the examples. Uh, I'll just sharing some some of the features in the pro panel. So. I will give you some idea how how this how is this pro panels and later on I will I will give you a demo online. Okay. So for the pro panel, so you have some synchronization of the data. Okay. That means when you design this uh, schematic, okay. So let's say from this PLC drawing over here, and then you assign a part number inside this uh, for this component. So basically, uh, you will have the data in the navigator, and then you can just click and drop to these three D pro panels. Okay, so basically pro panels and PA grid. So all these modules are sharing the same database. So you won't have any separate database over there. Okay, so you will have more reliable planning. Okay, so you can estimate your panel size. Okay. And of course, this, this is the most important thing. You can actually auto routing the cables inside these uh, control panel okay so which you can actually save the cost for the cables okay. 
because uh, from this wire routing, they will automatically calculate uh, the nearest uh, or the shortest length for this uh, component from component to another component. Okay, and they will you can actually generate this report, uh, this wire, wire uh, this wire list report. Okay, inside the EPEN integrated PA and propane as well. Okay, so basically they will automatically calculate the wire length. Okay, all this data basically they will come from this uh, schematic. Okay, drilling pattern. Okay, so you can even have the drilling pattern, the the whole cut or the cutting for this component. Okay, so let's say for example for this Q1 contactor. Okay, so you will know that there's two uh, hook, uh cutting over there. You need to mount to these uh, panels, and you can actually export this data uh, to the PDF. And we have some design A function over here, okay? So you can see the wire ducts over here, there's a green color, and then there's a red color over here. So that means this is a fuel capacity of this uh, wire duct, okay? Whether it's already full, okay? And of course, you have some allowance, let's say 20% uh, space for folder on site. Okay, and you can see that there's a wiring preview over here. Okay, so when you click and drag to to the control panel, three D over here, so they will let you know which control uh which component is connecting to this component. Okay, so basically uh with this wiring preview, you can you can estimate where you where you need to place the component. Okay, and after after you complete the thing, okay, so basically you can actually for for the wiring uh sorry for the whole card. For any any cutout from these control panels, okay, you can export the data to uh, the CNC machine, okay, and see Quisling, then how will DXF, and for the wiring, so you can actually, this, these are some of the machine, okay, you can export to convection machine, cat cable, okay. Of course, uh, our EPM pro panel also can can do the bending okay, for the pro panel copper. So and uh, and the report is automatic generated. You, you you can actually unfold the couples that you actually you design. Okay. So after you complete the design, you can even export these uh, 3D uh, 3D panels to the PDF. Okay. From the PDF also you can actually uh, you can actually turn around okay, and view the panels. Okay. I will show you. Uh, from from the software side. Okay, so basically, basically the environments from my side, is I'm using ePlan Electric PA. Okay, so it's version two point six, and then I'm adding on this ePlan Pro panels to my ePlan Electric PA environment. Okay, of course you can have you you can have it add on to the Electric PA, or you can have a standalone uh, Pro panels as well. So this will be the the layout space for these uh, 3D environments. Okay, so this uh, partially complete uh, from these uh, retail panels over here. Okay. So for the viewpoint, you can actually change. Right. So whether it's a side view, front views, okay. top and bottom, okay. you can have the isometric view as well. Okay. And you can actually just manually move on your own okay. to check whether uh, the component that you place to the control panel is there's a collision between uh, between the door to the to the panel as well. Right. Okay. So let's say from here, I would like to view my. Okay. So before that, okay. So you can insert the enclosure over here. So you can create uh, the control panel part number in this uh, ePlan database with the dimensions of these uh, control panels. Okay. And of course, uh, you will attach the graphical uh, macro of these uh, panels as well. So you can click OK. okay. So this is an example how you actually place the control panels to the layout space. Okay. 
And let's say from, from this control panel, I would like to just view the mounting panel. So I can just right click and then I will say, please show me the mounting panel. Or if you just want to show the door. Okay. Yeah, I, will, I will change to the front view. And let me just uh, just show you how easy you can just insert the wire duct and the mounting wheels to this panel. You can just insert the wire duct. Okay, just snap the center points or just uh, nearest to the wire duct over here. And then I'll insert the mounting rail. So for the mounting rail, I would like to actually adopt the length of this wire duct, and I would like to place in in the center of the location. So just place on center. Okay. So basically, you will get okay, the wire ducts three D, and then the mounting rail as well. So it's very fast and it's very convenient to do. So the next step will be I will place these uh, components to just click and drag to the control panel. Okay. So this is a 3D um, mounting layout. So I will use some filtering so it's more faster for me to to look or to search for my control uh, for my components. Okay, so let's say I will place some components to uh, this PLC to this location over here. Okay. okay, and just right click and place. Okay. So basically, after you place the component to here, so the uh, the components at the navigators actually they will actually uh, disappear. Okay. This means you read, click and drag to the control panel. Okay. Let me just change the view. Okay, and I have some, some component here I need to place again. Okay, so let's say when you place this uh, to this location, so you can see you can see that there's a mounting point for you to place. That means this is all we set in our database uh, for this component. Okay, so there were no the location for, for them to actually uh, place this component. Okay. And I would like to press the placement option. Okay. And I would like to place individually. Okay. Let's say I will place one by one. Okay. So as you, as you can see over here, they will place according to what we design and what, what we wish to do. Right. Okay. And then for the next one, okay. so you can just right click place again. Okay. So if, if I didn't ask any uh, any condition for the placement, so they will place all the components that I select from the navigator. Okay. And then the next one will be for the terminals. Okay. So for the terminals, okay. So you, let's say this is all the X1 terminal strip. Okay. I can just click and drag one of the terminal strip over here. Are uh, the terminals? Okay. So I can select whether I, I would like to place all the terminal strip X1 or just or I would like to place one by one by selecting. I will select the yes. Okay, so I just click and drag one of the terminals. So, so basically, all the terminals for this terminal three X one will place together. Okay, just one shot. It's very easy. Okay, so you can see this is how easy we can just place the component by click and drag. Okay, so this will be from the control panel. So let's try with the doors. So right click and then I will just show the door. Okay. 
So I would like to place uh, some switches to these uh, control panel doors over here. So I will place. Okay. And I will I would like to have some offset between uh, this emergency stop over here, uh, let's say 75. So use the placement option over here. So minus 75. Okay. And then this term between these uh, four push button over here. Center this. Right. And then I will just click OK. okay. So one shot they can place all the push button over here. Right. So this is how easy actually you can just place uh, the component. Okay. So after this is done. So the first thing that we can do is, okay, I can go to the view and then I will show the drilling view. Okay, so when you view the drilling view over here, so you can see, uh, let's say for the components or the wire ducts or the mounting rails over here. So this is all the whole cut, all the NC data. Okay, so that means let's say this component Q1, you need to have uh, two drill holes over here uh, for the bed, uh, for the mounting bed over here. Okay. So you can because all this data, all these uh, drilling pattern is all is is all uh, created when you create uh, when you creating the pan numbers. So you you just need to do a one time one time job, and then you can basically you we use back all this data when you have a new project. Okay, so turn it off. Okay. So after you complete this uh 3D uh control panel design. So you can actually uh, generate this uh, model view, uh, 2D model views over here. So this is our uh, 2D model view over here. Okay. So starting from the new version, so you don't have to create all these one by one. Okay. So now we have an option for you to actually go to this uh, report model view. Okay. So this is all the pre predefined templates over here. Uh, model view template. Okay, so basically you can just select and then you can just generate the report. Okay, so basically this general report is for the model views for the three D panels only. Okay. So when you click, okay, so they will generate all the model view that you already defined in the template. Okay, so you don't have to do it one by one. So once you generate, okay, so this will be the result. Okay. So you have the model view. So you can actually change the view if you, if you like to change it. Okay, the viewpoint over here. Okay, or you can you can change which which item that you you need to actually uh, appear to this model view. Okay. So mounting panel. Okay, so you can see for this model view, you can, you can insert a model view for the two D panel. And then the enclosure legend also will actually automatically generate. Okay. And for the doors over here as well. Okay. So for the doors for the model view over here. So you can even have a new uh, function over here. So scheme for automatic dimensioning. Let me just change up that thing. Okay. So I will just need to uh, change some of the setting. Of course, uh, this all this you can define in the template, and they will give you the dimension. Uh, let's say uh, the button from this location to another location. So it's automatically generate according to the three D panel that you designed just now.
So this 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 will be for the model view. Okay. And let's go back to the three D uh, the three D spanners over here. Okay. So just now we have the drilling points, right? The view drilling points over here. Uh, the view. So basically, you can export this data. Okay. Click on the drilling template. And then you can just click OK. Okay, so you can see over here. So this is all exported. Okay. And these are the these are the examples from the drilling template that we export. Up. Okay. So let's say from the door left. So these are the information that I export out. Right. right. So so after after uh, you can actually convert to two D and then you can convert to three D. Uh, you can convert to two D and then you can export to the uh, the drilling template. So the next thing I will show you the auto auto routing in this uh, control panel. Okay. So let's say I would just uh, give a auto auto routing for this uh, Q1 over here. I'll just click on this icon, root the layout. Okay. So you can see that the cables over here is also automatically uh, routed according to the shortest length shortest root of this uh, component. Okay. So let's say you uh, you you wish to actually change the uh, the, the root to the right hand side. You still can have the option to change it. Okay. So change to another way around. And let's say now I would like to run for the terminal strip. So this will show for the all terminal strip. Okay, let me just zoom in for you to have a look. So this is so uh you can see the wires they are running vertical horizontal and then go back down to this uh, connection over for this terminal block. So this is all the connection pattern uh, for these uh, component. Okay. So it's all, all this data is all inside the panel. Okay. So all so all this you just need to set the one time job okay. and you can reuse back these data. Okay, and let's just try to double click on these uh, cables over here. The the auto uh, the auto router cable. Okay, so you can see the length is automatically generated. Okay. Length with the unit. Okay, so for this wire is one point five uh, meter. And now I can just turn on these uh, fuel capacities over here. Okay. So you can see there's a green color over here. Okay. That means the wire ducts are still okay. okay. There's not uh, many cables inside. Okay. I'll try to uh, route the whole control panel. So this for the whole control panel. Let me show you the doors as well. So you can have the option to show just the selection. So this is the router, uh, the router cable from the doors uh, to the mounting panel as well.
So by using the, uh, by by using these functions, so basically you will have a virtual uh, design on this uh, 3D profanal scale. So you know that uh, the location uh, which the wiring you wish to lay out. So after this is done, so the next thing what you can do is so let's say the COMEX machine. Okay, so this COMEX COMEX machine basically they can help you to uh, we can transfer the three D uh, wiring data to this uh, COMEX machine. Then they will according to the data they will cut according to the length, okay. stripping the uh, stripping the cables and then they can. Uh, Put in all the wire uh, wire lab uh, ferrules uh, for these uh, cables. So let's say uh, export to the COMEX machine, and then you can just click OK. So the result will be something like that. COMEX and OK. So these are the data needed uh, for the COMEX machine. Okay. Okay. So just now I level something. Okay. So basically, you can uh, export the data to the CNC machine as well. Okay. So NC DXF. Okay. So for X. As then how? Okay. So for the stand how? Okay. So these are all the CNC data that exported out. Okay. And you can accept by the machine by this uh, stand how machine over here. Okay. And then after after the wire uh the auto wire routing is done for for this side. Okay. Of course uh. You can generate the connection list. Okay. okay. So this is a wire list uh, generated from from these the three D panels auto routing. So the source and target, pin numbers, uh, cross section, color. Okay. And you can see the length over here is already automatic calculated okay. according to the wire routing uh, inside the profile professional. Okay. So wire termination, okay, stripping, and slip. Of course, this is the routing direction uh, direction source uh, from the wire duct, okay, from which wire duct the routing track over here. Okay. Of course, you can just uh, according to this wire list over here, or uh, or you can use our e plan uh, smart wire rings. And let me just show you. This. So basically, the project in this uh, in the pro panels, they, they can export out, they can publish, and you can use in this event smart wiring tool. Okay. So basically, you reduce uh, the use of those, the papers, okay. and you will have more uh, more data uh, monitoring online over here. Okay. So you can have a look over here. I uh, can just do. Can zoom in. You can see that this is in the 3D environment. You can see that the wires, all the auto wire the cable is inside. Okay. So let's say I will just click on this wiring over here. Okay. So when I click on this, uh, these are wires over here. From this side, you will know that this wire is from this location and going to the terminals. Right. So once it's done. Let's say uh, for for the production of the looping members, they already complete uh do the termination wiring for this wire. You can have the option to just click on the button tool. So when you click, this means this wire is done. Right. And you can have a look again. Okay. Or you can even lock uh, this wiring okay, so that nobody can go and modify. And click on the on the eyes over here to have a look where it is. Right. Okay. 
and you can see there's a status over here that means you have four wiring so it's already completed okay. out of three four one over here okay. so basically if you do it on the first day and maybe you forgot where you left out uh, when you start tomorrow morning okay so you can just referring to these uh, event smart wiring so okay. and basically of course uh, the production or the design side also they can check okay they can check whether what is the progress on this wiring channel too, right? And this e my wiring is also very useful for, for the commissioning or for the testing member to, to actually check the control panels as well. Okay. You see that you can turn around as well. So it's a very useful uh, this is a software for, for you to actually detect uh, these uh, implants, uh, these wiring inside the panel. Okay. So it's very suitable for those uh, who are not really uh, required to read the schematic diagram, okay. but just look through this implant smart wiring and do the wiring work. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is a, just a simple introduction uh, demos on the three D four bands. Okay. So, uh, we can now go to the Q and A section. Okay. So, if you have any question, you can just uh, type in type in the chat. I think that's the end of the webinar and thank you again for joining us. Uh, we hope to see you again in the next EPAM webinar. Okay. Thank you and have a nice day. I will end uh, the webinar now. <laughs>